Hi, this is Mans with Quest for a Farm. I'm here on the patio with Uru and Nate, and we are going to be building an earth ore making an earthworm farm today. So we're actually going to be doing two. We're going to be doing the first one, which we're going to do right now is for vermicompost and helping out with the kitchen scraps that the chickens don't necessarily eat like your tomatoes and stuff in the nightshade family and um oh my god <laughs> um <laughs> and the second one is going to be one to basically breed the earthworms grow them really fast and bolster their numbers so that we can go fishing with them or potentially sell them to some of the local fishermen. So without further ado, all you need is five buckets, 20 liter buckets. Um, and you are going to drill holes in the bottom of two of them. Okay, just a whole bunch of holes. And we'll come back once that is done. Okay, so now it's going to go get that one wiped down and... Rue is going to... No, no, you can hold it, but like just a little further from the camera. <laughs> Don't insert it into my viewer's cornea. Yeah! <laughs> um, so he's going to just go give it a wipe down, get rid of... Oh, fuck, all the plastic bits. Oh, sorry, I'm not supposed to swear on air. Yeah. Sip your booty down, get it into... Okay, you guys can see we're just using old buckets. We're not doing wash. anything... Um, just give it a wipe down with a wet latte. Okay. Um, we're not using any special food grade buckets or anything. This, I mean, is literally an old paint tin. Carry on, boy. Okay, so that's what this one looks like. Um, you can see our holes. Oh, I think we did them with a 7 millimeter drill bit. Um, you can see these guys are big enough for the little worms to crawl through. So, without further ado, why are you laughing? Okay, so <laughs> Rue's going to just go give his a wipe down as well. And You can see then... he's more coordinated. <laughs> between then what we're going to need is we're going to need our third bucket which Ooh, is not going to have any holes in the bottom okay this is going to be our collector receptacle for our vermicompost there's a hole in it i know we'll be able to see when it's full though <laughs> um <laughs> this one had holes in it so like in the side so we just decided to use that one for the bottom so easy as Nate, you can pop yours in there, your bucket in. Okay, so all we need is our three buckets. Ruben's bucket's going to be off to the side for now. Then what we're going to do is we're going to add just some shredded oh. newspaper. Yeah, but like, sh sh no, empty it. Okay, so if you think composting, you want um, brown matter. Okay, so we've got some of that, and we have got some wood chips, which we're going to add on top there. All of it. No, that should be good. Mm. Yummy. Okay, and then we have some soil which will essentially be where our worms live um not all of it like just give it a goodly layer let's see if it's better with the light on yeah. 
wrapped, made a ball. That's fun. Okay, so without further ado, what we are going to do, we have got some worms that we just literally dug out of the garden. They are, so they are native worms and they're all balled up. You can see there, these are the native worms. They may or may not be red regulars. I'm not 100% certain. They kind of don't look red enough to me, but oh, I know the are. red regulars are. Yeah, they are uh, red regulars, I'm being told. Um, so you can see we've got different, that's a little baby right there. And these guys are a little bit bigger. There's no sign of their breeding sacs yet. So there you go. And what we're going to do is we're just going to add them into the dirt. Or maybe spread them around a bit. Shame. It's like cramped living conditions. Okay, so what they're going to do is they're going to go down into the dirt and they are going to essentially live there. And what we're going to do here, ow, um, we've just got some kitchen scraps. We've got some carrot peels, some old tomatoes, and this is going to be the food for our worms. So every week or two, we're going to feed them. We'll see. We'll keep an eye once they put it all in full. Um, once they have finished up all of this um, food, we'll add more and we'll see the level will get higher and higher and higher. Once this is pretty much full, we are going to grab Ruben's bucket and we are going to simply put it on top of all of that very gently. So what's going to happen is as they finish all the food in that substrate, no, no, um, as they finish all the food in that substrate, they are going to crawl up through those little holes in the bottom of the bucket and find more food. So we'll, in a month or two, we'll add more substrate to this, put a lid on top of it, and we will have our worms crawling up. In the meantime, we're just going to carry on feeding them with kitchen scraps and what have you. And as they produce the stuff, um, as they, as they, sorry, as they finish the stuff up, they will produce a liquid which will drop through into the bottom bucket and that is called vermi compost so it's like a brown liquid with all of the worm castings it is amazing as fertilizer so that's what we're doing with this one at the moment um we're going to pop her lid on her drill a couple of holes in that one this bucket's lid just one or two for oxygen and that's it Keep tuned, stay watching. We are going to now do our far more simple worm farm, which we are going to use to try and boost the numbers of our worms for our fishing expeditions. Okay, so if you thought that was easy, wait until you see how we are doing our fishing thing. So basically you need a big bucket, Tupperware, old cookie container, with a lid, which we just quickly drilled just some air holes into, like to that side and to that side. So once it goes onto our thing, our little wormies will be able to breathe. So we have, once again, some old newspaper. Just chuck that in. A few little wood chips. No, that's still. Did you check it all in? Mm -mm. No. Okay. Okay. So this one we don't have to go quite as heavy. Can add maybe a few more. 
um, we don't have to go quite as heavy. We just kind of want to cover the bottom. And then we're going to add some more of our soil again, just to cover the bottom. So this is where our earthworms are going to be living and breeding and multiplying and fattening up and whatever. Um, I forgot to mention in our last one, um, we actually do need to make sure that our worm farms, both of them, stay relatively moist. Um, so we don't want our worms drying out. That's one of the things that they absolutely hate. So here we go. We have all our little worms in here. There you can see. So we already have quite a few. I don't know. I reckon we got about 100 worms or so. Um, because these ones were just harvested or collected or whatever today, um, I'm going to leave them overnight to settle before I feed them. So basically what we're going to do, add a little bit of a moisture layer in here into both of the worm farms. Um, don't forget this one. You have to be extra careful of not drowning your worms because um, there is no drainage. The other one, at least there's a bit of drainage. So don't drown your worms. And then tomorrow we will start feeding them. Um, I usually have a bit of excess spinach that the bugs have gotten hold of. If I decide I don't want to eat it, then we divvy it out between the worms and the chickens. And um, the worms also make phenomenal protein for the chickens. So that's about it. Thanks for watching. Two really quick, easy little worm farms. I hope you guys found some enjoyment from this and I hope you make at the very least your own worm compost.